channels which I didn't know that you could well I didn't I thought it would interrupt my subscribe list so if I put my beauty with my vape channel which I seen people do and so I just made a whole new channel so I've been working like super hard to get subscribers on that channel because starting from scratch when I'm still a baby on my other channel on this channel like Panda Vapes it is really hard you have to put a lot of content and because I'm so, I started from with zero subscribers, so well one, <laughs> so like I didn't I seen like vapors like Tia vapes and all that. She put her beauty stuff with her vape, so I was like oh, I didn't know you could do that. But I, I my fan base is mostly men, so I doubt they want to see notifications of beauty stuff. So I'm kind of happy I kept it. I did it the way I did it. Because I think it might slim people having notifications on for me. Like, we've discussed it, and he's like, "Yeah, they're gonna turn your no their notifications off because they're not gonna." They're getting see all that. kinds of unboxing videos about beauty supply and me makeup. doing makeup, <laughs> which is kind of funny. You might want to watch it. So go to Panda Girl Fashion if you want to go subscribe watch to that channel. It's interesting Save content. My it life, really please. is. I need some subscribers. She'll get there. That's a really crowded... See, I'm learning a lot about the beauty... Through me. YouTube beauty scene through her. And it's a really cutthroat, crowded market. Yes. I thought vaping was, like, overcrowded, but beauty... And that's why I'm basically probably going to grow with my personality more than what my content is. Because, like... It is, everyone's doing it. So, you basically, your subscribers are going to subscribe because they like you. And, uh. It's the same with a lot of YouTube content. Whether it be vaping or beauty or so video games. People are subscribing coming to. Coming in late, it's, yeah. it's hard. People it's, are subscribing to the personality, not yeah. to the content. And uh, they'll watch the content because it's content they enjoy. And but they, you have to. They like you. They have to differentiate. Yeah, they, they're subscribing because they like you. They're watching it because they like watching you. Yep. Like, I have a few of my female subscribers that followed me on my other channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Especially, well, mine's is a little different because a lot of the beauty things are, are already people that know how to do makeup. They are, they, they're beautiful. They, they do tutorials and stuff. They're makeup artists. And they have their own makeup lines and stuff like that. I'm on the other end. It's t totally different. I'm learning. I'm become blossoming into a woman on my channel because I, when I moved here, I was like straight up like tomboy. I didn't really do much with my makeup. I didn't really have much makeup. I had all like um, drugstore brand stuff. And he spoils me, so he lets me spend money on good stuff because it's like you're putting it on your face. You should spend. It's important you know, if you're gonna put something on your face or in your eyes or whatever. Spend the extra money to get the good stuff. So it's basically they're learning. They're just learning me, and I also tell tidbits of my life in that channel and stuff like that. So you get to know me a little deeper than just YouTube. I tell you stuff it's like I do, I'm gonna start doing more story times where I tell you little thing crazy things that happen in my life. So it's it, I like it, but I do spend a lot of time making content for that channel. And so and then this and then my other. Well, channel. she also got a new computer. She got an, um, a MacBook Air. Yes. And um, so that's she's learning that and got new editing programs. And so just the last few weeks have been really hectic with her schedule. And so just that's one of the reasons why we have the. Yeah, and one, then so. spending time together. Yeah, we have to make time to be together because otherwise it can be really easy when both people are busy in a relationship. To kind of uh, drift apart. Yeah, and you know basically I mean? become roommates. Yeah, which we definitely did not want. No, so there's like days where I'm like, I'm not editing. We're gonna spend time together, and 
Like, it's funny because we were like, what's the rules with this? No, you were like, what's the rules with this? Yeah, like? because I was like, do we just sit and watch TV <laughs> all night? She's so weird. Like, like we've never, like, been around each other or something. She's like, she's like one day she's like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to do any video stuff. And we're just going to spend time together. Then it was like, she's like, well, what are the rules? Like, Can am, I allowed, play video am games? I allowed to, like, play games? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? There's no rules. <laughs> we're hanging out. Don't be weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm weird. She's weird. <laughs> I mean, my nickname, Awkward Panda, isn't for nothing. <laughs> so, we figured it out, though. Yeah. We actually did but just end up watching a lot fucking of fun movies that day. The, yeah. Because <laughs> we, I think, we, we just wanted to spend time together. Yeah. And then I ended up falling asleep on them. So <laughs> so, it was a good thing, though. Yeah. It's fun. So, a lot of you guys, well, not a lot. I, well, first, I want to give my shout outs. Give your shout outs. I have um, a couple shout outs. I have two good subscribers that I've actually became friends with and very close with actually. Um, Zoe from Ireland and then I have my friend Summer from Ohio. You remembered. I remembered. It's written down here too though. But I didn't look. <laughs> um, Zoe from Ireland is a very good friend of mine. She, you know, she, she messaged me. She messaged me on Snap. She follows me on all my things: Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram, and um, Vaffle too. And I love her to death. She's a sweetie. And um, it's kind of hard to talk because our time zones and stuff like that. But she watches. She follows all, all all my stuff. And I love her. She's a sweet. I just said that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, She's double sweet. I, we just did reviews, so my brain's like. <laughs> Um, also, Summer, it, we're really cool, like, she sent me juice, and we're, we're going to start doing this swap thing where we swap juices and stuff like that, and it's really cool, and she's just a really cool person, her and her partner, they both have me on Facebook, and they follow me everywhere, and they talk, we talk all the time. I just love them both, I love that, I, I love getting close to sub, um, subscribers, and have building a friendship because I literally have him as a friend in real life because of my all my my agoraphobia and stuff I don't really go out to meet people so having people on Facebook on Facebook YouTube is really nice obviously you have to be careful about it but they're really out of everyone I mean I don't have a lot of people that mess with me I'm not like big like that but <laughs> they are two awesome people and I just think they deserve a shout out completely and I think they're amazing and I just wanted to let everyone know that. <laughs> you know a lot of most of my what I would consider good friends now um it's such a it's just a, a sign of like the times that we're in <clears throat> we're, when we're in the future you know it's like when I was growing up thinking like what are the what's the future going to be like robots and shit yeah. well we don't have well we do have some robots everything's but everything's the internet but everything is like yeah Online and we and, met online, and we so. met online, and, and a lot of our lives are spent. Not online. a dating site. No, not plenty of fish. <laughs> I didn't even know what that was until like uh, you said something about plenty of fish, and I looked it up, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Um, but anyways, um, yeah, you know, uh, a lot of our lives are spent online, whether that be on social media or things like YouTube. And through YouTube, I was able to meet all, like all of, most of what I would consider my good friends, like Yeti's uncle, like. Paul Hessian, well, Mike I Gizzard, like I consider all those them guys. my good friends too, but I'm talking about like girlfriends. I don't have girlfriends, and, yeah. you know, I've, I've never had, like I've had like one girlfriend in my entire life, and just because I don't hang with girls, like most of the time, I just, I don't know, when you're in a relationship especially, single girls, when you're friends with them, it calls, it's, it gets you in trouble because they want to do single things, and then you're their friend, and so you're like, I can't. I'm not going to go to a bar to meet a guy. Like, I can't do that with you. So I just never got into me, like, hanging out with girls. I've always hung out with boys. They were just, that's who I hung out with. I had, like, one friend, Sarah. Rest her, God rest her soul. She passed away. But she was my one good friend from high school. And we were friends for, like, the longest time. So having girlfriends is really cool to have. Especially when they're not needy, because that's another thing about girls. I've noticed I've had girlfriends that were really needy, and I just had to cut their friendship off. I was like, you are just too high maintenance. <laughs> you want my time too Ladies much. These can be high maintenance. And so, I, I love them, and I love that I have actually girlfriends that I talk to about girly things and, and you know, ask for advice and stuff like that. I think it's so cool. So, I'm over now, so, I, you know, I need some girlfriends in my life. And they're long distance, so they can't get me in trouble. <laughs> and they're both in relationships, so 
we all chit chat, you know. It's just so nice to be able to meet people that share similar interests because yes. like around here, like I do have friends around here, you know, like uh, not very many, you know, but like uh, people that I can share like vaping with and things that I enjoy, like video games, stuff like that. Like it's been so nice just to be able to meet people from all over the world. You know, like like yeah. Penny said, like one of her friends was from Ireland. Like I have friends all over the world. I have a friend that's in Japan. I have a friend, you know, just there's friends all over the place. Germany and yeah. the United, you know, all across the United States. And um, because of the internet, we're able, like um, normally, we'll get into this a little bit. But normally on Sundays, it's Sunday right now as we film this. Um, normally on Sundays we do like the live show where we have people from literally all over the country. Um, you know, from uh, like Boston and from you know uh, Oklahoma. And everywhere. everywhere. I mean, there's so many people in that room. You don't even. There's probably people everywhere. Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? And it's it's awesome. It's just so nice. Like people you'd never otherwise would ever get to meet. We get to meet. Now. I mean, and yeah, he has friends here. But when you're in a relationship, you kind of like don't hang with your friends anymore. Yeah. Like especially if, and you're you're older, you work, and we have oh. such busy lives like I, it makes me laugh because my mom thinks I do nothing all day and she gets so mad at me because I wake up late or it's like late for her is it's a o'clock. three hour difference ten, I wake up at 11 and <laughs> sometimes because I, I take medication so she's, she's like you sleep all day I'm like 11 is not all day first of all and I we stay up late we're staying up so late and oh. She thinks I don't do anything but watch TV and eat bonbons or something. I'm like, I am so busy all the time. Well, then people, I think people of that generation, they just don't understand what YouTube, they don't really understand YouTube. Even if they I even sent her a video and she gave me thumbs up. Like, it was, it was one of my best videos, which if you just guys follow me, it was the Trinity Glass one. I did the best editing on there. I loved my editing on that video. And she gave me a thumbs up, which shows me she did not watch that video. <laughs> she doesn't watch, if I know for a fact, she does not watch my videos. <laughs> she just doesn't, she don't watch YouTube like that. And even if they do watch YouTube, they, they, it's, it's hard for them to like go, okay, normal people are making these videos. Because to them, they, they grew like up, actresses they grew up in, an, in a generation where like television and movies, that was the only time people were on screen. And so to them, that's what they associate. Like, oh, that's Hollywood. Oh, that's, that's. TV, that's They're movies. famous people. Yeah, but they don't and understand it's just normal people. She can't. She doesn't. She can't put her head around that we do it. Yeah. Like she, I don't. She just doesn't even like. I don't know. She and even if she does, she doesn't understand like the work that the, goes into yeah. it. It's like we don't just turn on the camera and then all of a sudden it's on YouTube. You know, and, and yeah. I know you guys know, but if you know, it's like you you film and then you have to edit those videos. Old, older people just don't realize. And it's not like we went to school for film or, or for editing. We're learning. Or, we literally we, learn by just doing it. Yeah, like you, YouTube yep. <laughs> teaches me a lot, and like just teaching yourself, and it takes a lot of patience to, and like because I could easily use. Um, iMovie, like I do to use iMovie a lot, but I, you can, there's easy, easy pro programs. Like, like the ones I use. Yeah. I'm trying to upgrade him <laughs> and get him to use this other Because her editing is on a whole other level. And I want him to, to be I able do. to do it. So I'm going to teach him and he's going to do it and he's not allowed to go back to, um, what Windows, is it called? Windows, Windows Movie Maker. Because he has to. Which is what I've always even used. Even if it takes some hours to do a video, which it does take me sometimes because I'm learning through the process of doing a video. You have to just do that. Yeah. Or you're never going to learn. And yeah. we are both um, hands-on learners. So if he run keeps running back to that other program, he's never going to learn this program. And I do. Program. I've tried to learn the other, uh, this other program uh, that Nikki Beak you know, uh, recommended to us. And it's a great program. Uh, but we just, we ended up, you know, she ended up really digging into it and really figuring it out. And I tried it a couple of times, didn't get what, I, I just didn't get immediate gratification of like, because I'm so used to using Windows, I've been using Windows Movie Maker, which they don't even actually He's put. used to doing the same things every yeah, time. Yeah, it's like, I, I know exactly what to do when I'm but editing they, a video. But when you, like, use this program, because, like, I, I love the program still, even though I don't use it now, but, um... Once you use this program and you see how much stuff you can do differently, you look at your video and you're like, whoa, I did that. Like, that's awesome. Like, because you literally have to have some kind of creative background, like yeah. mind, to create a good edited video. Yeah. I mean, they give you the tools, but you have to put them together correctly for the video to look awesome, you know? And I've basically pushed 
Windows Movie Maker to its limit. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I've squeezed every ounce of, of what I can get from that program out. And I, you know what, I give myself a lot of credit for that. You know, I'm not trying to brag, but like my videos do have a certain professional quality that I, you wouldn't really expect from Windows it. Movie Maker. Yeah, like I like this, like this f Filmora. He can like put his pictures in pictures. There's yeah. actual options of having three pictures. So if he's like reviewing like a bunch of juices, he can bo do three bottle shots and have him talk at the same time. Yeah. Like there's so much you can do on this <laughs> this program. I want it's gonna it's gonna open up a lot. He's of gonna fall, for me. once he learns it, and all he has to do is explore the 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 effects that they have because they have overlays they have effects they have transitions so many th different things once he gets the down pack of the program and then he's he's where the point where he can adventure to all the things that they have he's going to be like whoa yeah I'm gonna love it. i know i will because right, i'm you know what because I, I am a creative person I, I love doing these videos i never thought i would ever in my whole life edit a video but once i started doing it i really enjoy editing videos yeah. it's it can be mind numbing at times and it can be the worst part of making videos but once you get into a groove with it it can be really enjoyable right. too <laughs> to see the final to see the final result of it can be really enjoyable when i think the my biggest when i seen that ch what i did with trinity which was one of the program that i i'm trying to get him to learn i was just like I was by all like I was like whoa like that. I I really liked that video. I did a really good job for them, and I couldn't believe that I did that. <laughs> and I and I it's not like I used that same method with any of. I just left it with that that video was that the how I edited that because they deserve. That's how I fi I pictured them like their what they how to edit their video. Their Trinity Glass Harbor is a very upscale company and it was a very upscale video. And I, I loved it. It was a great video. I couldn't believe I did it. It was, <laughs> such, it was such good work. I did it a lot. It, was spent, it took a while to do it, but I, like, I want him to have that kind of like excitement when he sees his edited videos. Definitely. Like, whoa, I did that. That was me. <clears throat> when I really don't have a choice because um, Windows Movie Maker traditionally has been included for free uh, with every copy of Windows. Um, so that's just a lot of people use it, but now it is actually not included with Windows anymore. Like Windows 10 does not have a Windows Movie Maker. So when we had to re-download this program, we actually had to go find it from a third-party site. Now that's only going to work for so long. So I, I just I'm not yeah, going to have the option. Yeah, eventually they're going to patch it. Yep. And they're going because they want you to buy it, right? No, they have a new program, but it's it's a it's if you can even imagine this, it's a more dumbed-down version of Windows Movie Maker. So it's going to be like. <laughs> It's gonna be not something I want. Like to where, when he first started, be, no, he I can't I can't wait. And we have device. Filmora. I mean, we we have full versions of Filmora, so there's yeah. no reason why I can't use that, and I will be using that. So look forward to my videos increasing in quality as far as the editing. Yes. Uh, very soon. So, but some things I'm gonna keep the same. Uh, like my 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 bottle yeah, I shots. I mean, obviously. Cutting away with the bottle shots with the music that has become like kind of a tradition around my channel, and so. But I there's like different things you can do with that. Yeah. You can you can now shape the picture to make them look nice so they're not just like bloop on a thing. There's so much you can do. Like, I have and, a lot of ideas. But I've, yeah. I, 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 over the years I've he had a lot of ideas. He is so creative that he, he I, he's just going to go so much further with this program. And then, you know, there's, been, there's been many, many times where I had ideas for videos that I just couldn't implement because of the limitations of the editing program. So, so. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so, okay, so um, something that I wanted to talk about um, that's really important for our community is um, <clears throat> YouTube seems to have changed their algorithm uh, in the way that it um, interacts with vaping channels. So um, we've... Uh, you get no, um, no, you get no advertising, correct? No, no, I still get advertising. But what, so what happened was that, um, so for a while now, they've, what's called, they called demonetizing us, right? Which, which basically means like they, uh, when you're looking at your videos, it says, oh, this video might not be fit for all advertisers. I still get advertising on my videos, um, but it's oh, just like, said, it just add, says, add words or something like that. Well, well, it's just, um, so if you do put ads on your videos, basically what it's, what it's doing is it's just limiting the kind of ads you can put up. Um, like for my channel, for some reason, I guess because of overdose is in my title, it uh, always gives like uh, rehabs and shit like that so uh, but that's not that's not really what happened here what happened here was that um 
a lot of channels have been getting strikes. And if you don't know what a strike is, you get three strikes on YouTube and they take your channel down. A strike can be anything from like a, a YouTube co or like a copyright infringement, like where you're just uploading a movie that's copyrighted to somebody else to your channel. That'll give you a copyright strike. Um, but you can also get one from what's called a community guideline uh, infraction. So, like, uh, if you're if you're hurting somebody on on your channel, like your violence or Abusing sex, it. like if you just have like a porno on your site, or um, apparently also um, drug use, right? So drug use, any kind of drug use, is a big no-no on YouTube, and they will give you a strike. You get three of those strikes. Where are you going? I'm getting a battery. Okay. Keep talking. So you get three of those strikes, and they shut your channel down 100%. You're, you're done. You don't get it back. You're, they erase your content. They erase your channel. So that has actually happened to several people on YouTube. Big YouTubers in the vaping community. It happened to Foolish Vapes. Um, he lost his channel. He, is start, he has started a new channel. He is trying to rebuild it. But Foolish Vapes, gone. Um, Alex, um, I believe her channel's name was Assassin Suicide. It was something like that. Wendy. Uh, so she's gone. She had 27,000 subscribers. Gone. Wendy. Uh, Wendy Vapes, gone. Um, um, Abby's looks like she only has like a year of content. So but she, she also had, does it. most of hers on Twitch now. Yeah, but she still uploads them. Yeah, and so um, so she must have deleted some of hers. What it seems like at first was that it was anybody who had done any kind of CBD e-liquid. So CBD is a chemical in marijuana, but it's not the, 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 the chemical that gets you high. Okay, let me do that. Um, it's, it's not THC, well, he, it's he not illegal. The battery's about to die. No, it's fine. Uh, the, the what he first thought was that it was his title. Well, it definitely was a title. So let me get there. Okay, no. so um, so it yeah, I don't know any. So it's it's <laughs> so what the common theme from everybody who was getting in trouble. It seemed like we all had CBD um, e liquid reviews. Now the CBD e liquid that I did had a really stupid name. It was called 420 Vape Oil Ganja Flavor, right? And so. Uh, Basically, what happened was that uh, the way that YouTube works is that it's not like people are doing this. It's an algorithm. It's, it's an actual computer. computer doing it. And so it just flagged my title of that video. So that one video I had, um, 420 Vape Oil Ganja Flavor, it got, it got a strike. Said they, they no said warnings. No. No emails saying take it down or you're going to get a strike. Nothing. This you is just get, what came out of it? Yeah. You just automatically get a strike. So, um, yeah, so the, so I, I appealed that strike because I told them, like, like cause I did, at this point I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know if they thought I was smoking marijuana in this video or what, but I said, I said this video contains no illegal substances, no mind-altering chemicals, we're not using drugs. This is a review of an e-liquid. It has a stupid name, yes, but it's just the name. So um, I got an email back saying, look, your video was flagged for uh, community violations, and we uh, reviewed it, and we decided that you did indeed um, break the community guidelines. So obviously it was the e-liquid. So it was the e-liquid, because that was that one video that got the strike. Um, I, I honestly don't think that anybody actually reviewed it, because if they would have reviewed the video and watched it, they would have saw that indeed there was nothing, uh, that we were doing nothing wrong. What? But it has to be... The e-liquid, because everyone else is getting strikes too. No, no, that for sure. Well, what it is is that uh, if if you've reviewed any kind of CBD e-liquid, then they're giving you strikes for for those. Apparently now they're looking at CBD e-liquids as being something that they don't approve of on YouTube, even though it's not mind-altering chemicals, even though it's it's totally legal. They don't care. They don't want it on YouTube. They're taking those videos down. They could have said they could have sent out an email saying, "Hey, look, we've." We noticed that you've done a CBD e liquids. We're changing our rules. This We're not going to have it on. Two years ago, he did yeah, this. Yeah, the video, video. Was, video was two years old, and so this is totally a new thing. All right, and um, I've appealed it. I don't have a lot of uh, faith that they're going to that they're going to do the right thing. But basically, the, the problem with that is, is that they take down, they take away my ability to live stream. So we can't do the live stream for three months. Um, the while strike is on my channel. He can do it. He has to do it with either on my computer, my channel. Or someone else's, or my, which is or just could, a hassle because it's his thing. Or we could do it on Twitch, and then like, uh, and then have the, the actual the the stream from Twitch. We can't upload to YouTube. Yeah, um, we'll figure it out. I mean, we're not going to give up on the stream, but but it's just a it's just a total nightmare, and it puts my channel at jeopardy because if I got two more strikes, there goes my then channel. Them strikes don't go away for th for the three months. After three months, this strike will go away. Um, but uh, if something happens in the meantime, they just start to build up. And so, but the way they the way they framed it to me was that um, this is this after three months, this strike will go away as long as you don't get any more trouble. So, 
Uh, I feel like I'm on probation right so now. So what it's we totally were shitty. thinking was, because we don't know if it's becoming a vaping thing, so we're going to start, go, it's going to be a harder on his, go through all of our channel, all of our um, show, uh, videos, and put it for adult um, eyes only, like adults only, which is BS that they don't have just a setting that you can just do it on, but just to be safe that... If they're not going to like take his whole channel down or, my, or any all of our va us vapors channels down if they're not t attacking it vapors period. But there's other people that um, I think got I don't know because I've like in the I've seen in beauty things people smoking weed and stuff yeah. and they didn't even get like. Well, see, the, the, here's the thing. I think they're just starting this. Okay, so there are people who did like marijuana reviews, like a uh, Custom Girl 420. Yeah, he, those guys, their channels are all gone. Yeah. And so uh, they're, they've started taking down all those channels, okay? And Foolish got, like, he was one of the first vapors and we, to get we his channel straight taken down. And we were wondering what the heck happened. Yeah. Like, why did that happen to him? And we, I figured it's because he was smoking weed on YouTube. And I already heard that they stopped allowing weed being on yeah. YouTube. And then all of a sudden it happened to him. Yeah. And I'm, we're, I'm like, what? Because if he would have known that, if there was some kind of, like, notice saying that this is this is what's going to happen. Like they, he, they should have totally been cool about it and gave us, gave everybody a warning in the email. So there's going to be like a rule change. Yeah, give a warning in the email. This, this, pro, this, whatever CB, CBD, CBD, CBD is not allowed on YouTube. You have this many hours to remove all the videos that but you. But I, I don't even continue. know if that would have helped because I've done one. This is the only video of CBD one. products we've ever done. It was two years ago. That's so I, what gets me. And I have over 600 videos, and so I just don't know if I would have even remembered that we did it. And so, regardless, I have the strike. Uh, we I think can't, you would have looked, though. Yeah, we can't, we can't live stream for, for three months, but we, like I said, we will figure it out. But the problem with this is, is that I'm afraid this is like a test run to go after vaping in general. So, what I've, like, I, I did a video earlier on my channel kind of explaining what happened. Um, and if you want to watch more about like the ins and outs of this, you can go watch that. But somebody did comment it, that, that they said um, it's not just CBD. It's, somebody said they've also done, been striking vapors. Now I don't know. I don't know the. I don't know what the the, the truth of that is. Okay. Um, I don't know what the reasons for striking a vapor. You know, just a vapor that doesn't do CBD. Like I don't be. understand why they would take um, people's whole channels down. Because they had more than one video that violated community it's just guidelines. Right. So mean. It's, like, it's sucks. The, the time and, they don't and care. effort you put into these cha these um, videos and take down someone's whole, especially like people, but I'm sure the, the people that had their whole channel down, it's been doing it for years yep. and has so much work. Well, Alex on. had, like I said, Alex had 27,000 subscribers and she had been doing this for years and she had her channel, channel totally taken down. But I'm sure her subscribers are, well, some of them she's, might not even watch up, YouTube no she more. She straight up said that she's not, I, she released a video on Red Fox Vapes' channel. If you want to watch that, go watch it on Red Fox, look, look up she's, Red Fox Vapes. She's not going to And do she it. did a goodbye video and she said that she's done. She's not going to do videos anymore. She's going to continue to, to be on Instagram and stuff so you guys follow, uh, you know, Alex, you can follow her there. She's still on there, obviously. But she said, yeah, she just, she does not. Uh, she felt like this was an opportunity Who just to it? break away. Um, I can't remember exactly the name Alexandra? of her channel. Alexandra? Yeah. Oh, uh, she's a little furry girl? Yep, exactly. Oh, yeah, I used to watch her. Yep. Wow. Yep, they took her down. So she released a video. She, you know, she it was very emotional. But she did say, for her, it was kind of like she found a silver lining. She said, look, I've been thinking about stopping the YouTube anyways. And so this just was kind of like God saying, look, you're done. And so she said, I'm not going to restart it. I'm not going to, you know, continue doing videos. Goodbye. That's basically what she said. It was really sad to see that. I, I'm not, I didn't personally watch her very much. I did watch her occasionally. I watched her. But I didn't, I, but I, it's still, it's just like my worst nightmares to see all these people that like, we came up, we came up at the same time. Like, obviously I'm not as big as any of these other people, but I've been doing YouTube for four years. Okay, like I just don't have a lot of subscribers. You know, we never blew up like some of these other people blew up. But I still have a lot invested in this, and so I'm not ready to give up. I'm not like Alex. I so don't want to quit. That's why we so were thinking maybe if we put it to where it's adult only, maybe that would help. But I don't we really don't, don't think that's gonna like help it's gonna suck if they take like all vaping down. Like it's so ridiculous. So it's YouTube so is a giant. YouTube is part of Google, which is a giant multinational corporation. So if they if they are losing money for for vaping from vaping, like, let's say, I don't know, maybe they have stock in tobacco companies, or maybe 
who knows what, right? Who knows what reason? Maybe there's just ad- advertisers. Enough advertising. Maybe advertisers are just like, hey, we don't want, we don't want to be associated with vaping. Maybe you know it could be. Well, that's why I that. heard what it was with the wheat, with, with the marijuana. Sure, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Google did not want to be associated with marijuana, so that's when they started taking down the marijuana stuff, yeah. and then um, then the CBD stuff. Happen. I guess it's just associated enough, associated close enough with marijuana. That I it don't. Like... I I don't know if I never. I didn't hear anything about the vaping thing, but um, I think it, because it was associated with weed, that they didn't want nothing to do with it. And just I know that some people yeah. did reviews on it to the intent to where to see if it had any effects because it's supposed to calm you and um, help with anxiety, help with stuff. anxiety yeah. and stuff. And I know that. They, they did an actual, like, um, diary kind of thing about it and that it, it was helping a little bit. So maybe because it had effects to your body, they, like, kind of like we, they didn't want nothing. I guarantee it. you they don't, they're, they're, they're not watching these videos. That's the thing. There's not actual human beings doing this. It's all being done by a computer who's flagging these things based on the titles. So they've decided we don't want CBDs or we don't want anything related to marijuana. 420, any of that stuff. If you have that in your title, I highly recommend you go change anything that has to do with CBD, with, with 420, 420, with weed, with, with anything. Change your title because I guarantee you it's, it has nothing to do with your videos. They're not watching the videos. It has everything to do with your titles and your tags. What gets me is that they do this, but then there's little 12 year olds vaping on YouTube. Like, it, or they have parents be, like abusing their children on YouTube and it's, it gets by because there is no one watching them. I really, really, really hope it's not going to be t- about the vaping community because it, that's just going to be sad. That's Think about how many sad. people have been helped to quit smoking and s- literally extending their lives because of YouTube. I was one of them. Like, without YouTube, like, I wouldn't have known anything. I wouldn't have got so far into vaping as I did because I just seen people do, um, talking about Like, I just got so much information and knowledge about it through YouTube. And it, because there was so much, like, people that don't, like my mom, like parents, they don't, they don't know nothing about vaping. And, and you hear this negative stuff on the streets about it. Yeah. So, YouTube helped me to actually gain knowledge that it was actually better than smoking because more people are quitting smoking and without vaping I literally I tried everything I tried the stuff that you snort up the nose like the liquid and it's that's prescribed to you and it helped a little bit like I, at first when I first started vaping I actually mixed the two because it did it takes the craving of a cigarette away I tried that alone though. I tried patches. I tried gum, and I could never stop smoking. And then once I found my correct setup of a start, like the, the thing that really helped, me, like you know, you need your the right setup to want to quit smoking, like for vaping to work correctly. And once I found it, and once I found that the liquid that I enjoyed and the milligrams I enjoyed, then I got it did it helped me. I I had cannot believe I'm not smoking to this day me too, because man. I've been smoking since I was 10 years old. And for me, I've always been like I'm not going to ever quit smoking. Da, da, da. And I I quit smoking. And I I mean there's days I you know you hit a certain mark and you you crave a cigarette, but like. I always, it, I, I never smoke a cigarette. <laughs> I, I think I smoked a couple drags of a cigarette just to see, and it was disgusting, and it was like, eh. And I'm, without vaping, I would have been still smoking, smelling like nasty as stinky stinkies, and having terrible skin, and looking unhealthy, and I, I, you're, I feel so much better without smoking. And it's just sad that they they want you to smoke. Yep. Like the the government, the, they they want to keep you. Sick. They all want you to smoke. Yep. A, because they want you to make they want to make money off of you. Well, here's the thing. And they want to. It helps lower the population. It's, the it's population like not even a conspiracy. Goes. Like like literally, uh, people they they need people dying because she's right population reasons. But also people like the people make money on the cigarettes. People make money on the medicine that it takes to cure the cancers and the doctors and, and quit the hospitals. And smoking cigarettes. Yep. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. So like the medication that I got and I still have it. I just I've always kept it because it was expensive. Thank God I had insurance at the time, but 
It was like three hundred dollars a box. Yeah. And, and that shit doesn't work. But then they can keep selling you those those little I like here's a hope, like maybe you well, won't smoke. My anymore. mom did quit smoking off of it. But I think she was just ready. Yeah. She would have quit no matter what she yep. used. If you're ready, you're ready. Yep. And I think she just was ready. And yep. she actually got addicted to the stuff that was getting her to stop smoking cigarettes. Because she felt like she needed it to stop not smoke a cigarette. Yep. She felt like if she quits doing that, she was going to smoke again. Yep. And it's what they want you to believe because they want your money. They, yep. They get you addicted to something else. <laughs> and they don't have their pocket. They don't have their hands in the in the vaping uh, pocket yet. They don't have a, they don't have their fingers in that pie yet. So there's not enough money for them to to really care about it. So yeah. So right now, um, yeah. I'm really I'm really afraid that we're gonna lose vaping on YouTube. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, there's not a lot. Somebody asked in in one of the comments like, what can we as your subscribers do? Like, can we write somebody? Can we email somebody? Um, I will look into that. Like you know, but I really. I mean, I, mean, I'll, I will. I will put. I will put a link to like the YouTube, like the help desk or they, whatever YouTube. They have an email. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, exactly. And I will. I will. I will put that in in one of these videos. But, but they're just really not going to do anything. They don't. They don't care. That's the thing. They they just don't. Care. They're going by the name and. But I just think they, thank God they just removed, like, he, he removed the video and... Well, they had removed it. They had, they had taken it down. I, I, I erased it. But thank it, God but they didn't take your whole channel. No, no, I, and, I, and, I, and I, I really am so grateful that I still have, as, we, as we're talking right now, Overdose Vape still exists, and that's huge. He just has, he can't go, he can't do his own lives for 90 Three months, days. Three months, yeah. Which, it sucks, but, yeah, I mean, I'm sure... I. And any, if you're ever going to email, that may be help, but I don't think it might. It may help us all feel a little bit better. And so I will definitely include yeah, a link below so you guys can uh, you guys can email somebody and, and we can shout at a brick wall because that's basically what it's going to be. Um, they do actually respond, but they're probably going to, it's not. Is it even like a human responding or is it just an automated response? And that's another thing. Like when I'm emailing, like when I'm emailing YouTube, like right now, trying to figure out this strike thing. I don't even know if it's a person emailing it's me. It seems like it's like it could, could be a robot. Who knows? Who knows? I just don't know. It's, just, I, it's, it's freaking I, me out. I I think it's like mind blowing. They don't have a contact number or something. I, I guess they don't. It's want like notoriously hard for YouTube creators to get in touch with with YouTube. I guess they don't want to be bothered. Well, no, because by... like think about how many YouTubers there are, and and while YouTube and is a huge company. They don't have that many employees. They have a few thousand, but they don't have people that are that whose job it is to directly work so with us. They just basically have a filter yep. that goes off when certain keywords keywords that they put in yep. goes are in like 420 yep. or whatever anything they want. Ganja so, 420. I had these I had these keywords in that title of that video. They were just terrible. 420. It, but it was Oil, the name, ganja, so yeah. he couldn't go around it. I mean, I guess you could have put like just initial initialed it out, but then. But that's how all my videos are: it's the name of the product and then review. But you didn't all it think anything was wrong no. with it because it, I, up until that point, there was tons. I mean, at that point, Custom Girl Four Twenty was doing dabs on his YouTube channel. Yeah, literally smoking hash on and his YouTube channel. And making it. <laughs> so he was making dab. He making um, <coughs> hash oil, hash oil, and yeah. all that. And then all of a sudden, yeah. And here's the, you know, the biggest problem about this is that there is no alternative to YouTube. We were talking about this earlier. Like, is there, yeah, are there, like, in is theory. Is there something else we could, like, go to? I mean, are, in theory, are there other sites where you can upload videos? Yes. Like I mean, Vimeo you can do and Twitch, stuff. But, but, but is everyone going to follow you? No, and they're not. But the, the reason is, and I don't even expect people to, because YouTube is the place we all it's, go to watch like videos. Like he said, there's an app for it. It's more. It's easier to be it's accessible. It's just. It's to go to. When you think of video on the internet, you think of YouTube. It's just. It's built in. It's like Google with searching. When you ask somebody if they're gonna search something, search something on the internet, or you want them to search something on the internet, you say Google it, and that's how YouTube is. It's synonymous with video on online. It's just. It's built in. Whether for for better or worse, YouTube. When you is Google the, the something, platform. videos pop up for it. So, like, they're hand in hand. They own it. I mean, Google owns YouTube, so every time you search for something, the videos from, from YouTube are going to pop up. It's just, it's going to always be like that. Yeah. YouTube is always going to be the big the big boy. And, not, and there, even when there are other sites, like there was, I can't even remember the name of it now, 
but there was another site for, for video and I was uploading all my videos there. Nobody watched them there, um, but it, even that one folded. It's, it went out of business, all the videos got taken out. So it's just shitty. Um, yeah, let's just move on because uh, if you guys want to know more, um, there is, like I, like I said, I did upload a video um, it, and it has a pretty quick bitty title. It says, emergency, everybody please watch. So go watch <laughs> Clickbait, clickbait. I, I, was, I really wanted people to watch the video though, so. All right. Um, but so. I um, want to talk about our vlogs. Yeah. This so good. Oh, it's it's next anyway. Yeah, it's next. So we uh, so we've been requested to start doing vlogs because people some people do want to see more of us. Some people like this shit. And then Pano, at home with Panados vapes is just not enough. They need more. So they want more of us, and they want to see our life, and which isn't very exciting. So we, we decided. Speak for yourself. Well, like seriously, what do you want to watch us edit videos and play video games? Yes. I mean that the video games part, yeah. But I mean, most of the time we're like either watching TV or editing or like he plays video games late at night. But like, so we decided that when we do like, um, we're going to start doing stuff that, and we're going to make it live. Like we're doing a, what is it called again? Oh, it's my favorite. There's a, there's, you guys know what the jelly beans, Jelly Belly? Well, there's a factory here. Close by to us. Which I didn't know of. Ah, I love Jelly Belly. Really love them. Okay. It's so like, I was like, almost had a heart attack. So. He's taking me there, mm -hmm. and we're going to we're going to make it live. We're gonna well not live. We're, we're gonna, gonna film it, film it yeah. and we're gonna make a vlog out of it. Cause I don't want to do vlogs at home, and I don't like I can talk to you all damn day, but um. So we're gonna do vlogs when it's so, something cool. Yeah, it's interesting. So you can experience something with us that we're experiencing also, and it's gonna be fun, and we're gonna be talking to you guys and. You know, showing you everything about the. And there's some thing. other things we can do. Like, there's the uh, Buddhist temple. We could take them to the Buddhist yes. temple. And I understand, like, m the one person that really, really wants it is my friend Zoe. She's from Ireland, so I'm thinking she probably wants to see America. She wants to see what Cal like California. I don't even know if she knows I live in California, but um, it's so funny to say I live in California. I've always wanted to live in California my entire life, and now I'm living here. So mm. funny. So, anyway, um, I think she wants to see, like, you know, she lives in Ireland, so she wants to see America. I want to see Ireland. We want to see Ireland, yeah. <laughs> like, The grass so, is always greener. So, I'm going to be like, you make some vlogs, too. <laughs> um, so, we're going to do that, and we're going to do different things. We're going to, like, when we, we're going to make plans of going to certain places that are even, like, where we live, there's so many cool places to go to. There's like the redwoods that he showed me that is beautiful. That the um the Buddhist place that is so cool. We have a really cool Buddhist temple. It's called the Temple of Ten Thousand oh, Buddhas. God, it's it amazing. Is so cool. Yeah, we'll go up there. And so we're gonna make vlogs going to, like that's just that's just sim simple stuff. You things. almost got I me. I almost got you. It's just simple things around our area. Like we live in a really beautiful area, and there's just like so many different places we can just vlog around here. We can vlog so, when I teach her to drive. And it also gets me out of the house yep. because I don't leave the house, so. It'll give us a reason to get out of Yeah, it'll definitely give me a reason to want to go out and do things. And um, maybe a Walmart vlog. See our Walmart. You always see some interesting shit you know, at Walmart. I have to clean up some space in my phone. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would probably want to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see some interesting things. Um, more it's funny. It is. And, um, I, actually, I'm one of the people that go to Walmart, like, in their, in their pajamas and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be so much fun. I've won I'm actually going to start a vlog of my own on my other channel, but it's mostly going to be me talking and, um, doing stupid stuff. So, but this, I, I'm totally stoked about because I, I want to, I, we get to do things and we get to film it for you guys. So, yay! It'll be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. For you guys that are interested in our lives, because I think it's really neat that someone is that, so, that wants to see our lives so much. Like, I just think that is so awesome. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. 
We're not, well, I'm not big at all. Like, I'm a little baby YouTuber, and he he says he's a little baby YouTuber, but I'm like, for sure. But I, I mean, compared to like 100,000 100, subscribers, I'm, some million subscribers, some people I've seen have, it's like, it's what the heck? PewDiePie has like t over 10 million subscribers, so. Yeah, so, yeah, it's going to be fun, and it's going to be exciting. So it's kind of like reality television. You get to see people you don't, you know, who you don't really know, and you get to know them a little bit better. Yeah, we definitely have to bring our good camera, yeah. because my, my phone is iPhone, and my phone's all used up of space. We definitely I, bring the camera, yeah. I do a lot of blogs at home for, like, the kitty cats and stuff. Or maybe we'll get like a one of those. What do you call it? The um, the, the glasses. I think we should get glasses, glasses. Or, or like the uh, what is it called? Oh God, I can't think of the uh, name go, of it. Go Pro. Go Camp Go Pros. We we'll probably both have to have one yep. so we can whatever we're looking at. But I think the glasses are cheap. We watch this said, channel. You said they're on Amazon. Yeah, we watch this channel. Um, uh, God, I'm blanking so hard. It's on nicotine. So we watch this channel. Um, Lazy Game Reviews. And uh, he's a really funny guy. He's been doing YouTube for a long time. Young guy. If you like old like old games and old like computer stuff, oh, tech, he, techie stuff, you'll love him. Check him out. And he does another series where he goes where he goes looking at thrift stores for stuff. And he wears these glasses that have a camera built into the they're, you know, and they're really they're good. Really good quality. They have good stability, like it's not all shaky. You don't see like if he he if like he had a phone or whatever, you, you have all the shaking. He's so stable on yeah. his head. Like you don't, I know, I didn't even know he was wearing glasses. Yeah. I didn't know what the heck he was doing, you, filming with. And then he he mentioned the video quality it. of him is is really high quality as well. Yeah, it's like you're looking out of his eyes. Yep. That's exactly, and that's what I would, I he said he got them off Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna definitely look into them because I if they're like not as much as like camera. <laughs> Then we're probably I would spend even like a hundred dollars. Yeah, or you, you know, even we definitely more. need yeah. two of them because yep. we need to look at it both. It's going to be just so cool and yep. like that's going to be something to, big to edit because especially if we're both having yeah, glasses two different on. Sets of footage, yeah. Like whoop, I'll be working for days on that, but it's going to be fun and it's well worth it. And I think the glasses are the best bet because carrying a camera is going to be so much so unstable yeah. and it's going to be uncomfortable for us we're not going to be able to really enjoy our time then you can't really just do the activity you have to put the camera down like on a tripod yeah, it's going to be quick too video set footage. up yeah it's too set up yeah so the the glasses are like the best thing or the thing if the thing that you can put on your head pretty sure the glasses are going to be cheaper than the GoPro. yeah me so yeah um so that's going to be a really good thing for us to do and yeah. finally so if you're interested into watching that it's obviously we're probably posted on both our channels yeah, probably. Because we don't have, like, one channel, so, like, for us, because that would be starting another channel all over again. No, thank we you. We can't do that. Um, so, we'll probably just post it on both our channels. And, yeah, it's going to be really fun. I'm excited about it. Me too. It. I'm excited about going to the factory, because I love Jelly Bellies. And she was, like, she kept saying, like, I don't know what we're going to do for the vlogs. Like, I want to I want to do it, but I can't really, I can't well, really we went to get my mind there. And, and she got some Jelly Bellies. And then he told me about the factory. I was like, "What?" And, it, and everybody around where I like where we live, um, they all know because a lot of us have been to the Jelly Belly factory. And the big thing about the Jelly Belly, Jelly, I can't say it now. Jelly I, Belly, you're wearing, you're wearing off on me. Jelly Belly. The cool thing about the Jelly Belly factory <clears throat> is at the end you get a chance to buy um, big bags of what's called belly flops, where it's like once you just don't jelly beans that don't come out perfectly. We're gonna be getting two and bags so um, you get uh, you can get them for a really good price and you get these big bags of jelly beans and so yeah, she's really excited about it and it's just a really neat little thing to do to get out of town to go it's it's in Sacramento you go to Sacramento spend the night go to the Jelly Belly factory have fun and we'll do a little vlog about it maybe we do like a vlog when I get my hair done we could definitely do a vlog I can right definitely now. use that for my other channel yes you can. So if you, I'm getting extensions, so She's next already time got you the see hair. me, I will have long hair because I take a lot of vitamins and it's just going to grow overnight. Overnight. Yeah. So ah. you, you're going to see me with very beautiful long hair. So <laughs> don't be jealous. I got no hair and she's getting extra hair. What kind of world are we living in? Take them vitamins I'm taking. Yeah, something. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I'm going to definitely probably make him film that because for my other channel, I know there would it'd be something that they, they would want to see, my 12 subscribers. <laughs> or, hey, you got 12, huh? Or I don't know how many. I might have more. I don't know. Excellent. But, um, it'll be, I'm like a little, little, little 
tadpole in a big, big ocean <laughs> when it comes to that channel. So um, I'm moving very slowly to get to, to even 50. <laughs> so, but I'm so I'm I have I love that channel. So that channel is really fun to me. I love my, both my channels, but that channel I'm more myself, my more girly, and I I get to just do whatever. But yeah, we're definitely going to do more vlogs. I, I think that's an awesome idea. I see a lot of people do vlogs and they're, they're just talking and they're just talking about vaping, and it, which is cool, but we want to do something different. Yeah. So we're going to actually like, go out and let you see California. Well, definitely. our part of California. Yeah. We live in more mountainy, beautiful, Cal green California. We're Northern not, California. The good, not, the good part of California. We're not in a city like California. But, you know, we could also, like, when we go to San Francisco to go to the zoo and to the yeah, aquariums, yeah. we'll, do, we'll yeah. do vlogs for all that. Especially once we have the glasses, we can vlog everything. All, all over I'll, I'll, I'll vlog him and the house and everything. We'll vlog Safeway, vlog everything. Yeah. Okay, so look forward Our to that. shopping days. Look, food shopping days. Look vlog. forward to that for sure. <gasps> Pam is um, going to vlog everything. Yeah, once we get those glasses, she'll, you guys will get too many damn vlogs. <laughs> I'll be like, you just put it on your channel, sweetheart. Um... <laughs> So, uh, we don't have to do all these, but, um, so you have anything interesting that's coming up for review lately, uh, soon that you want to share with people? Oh, what, oh, reviews? Yeah. Um, I got all of them Puff Labs. Yep. It's like um, strange fruit. Puff Labs sent me a, they, I messaged them and did not think they would message me back because I sent them a link to my channel, so I was like, they're not even going to even think about me, and because, you know, I only have, like, so many su subscribers, and, but they still messaged me back, and I was so shocked, I sh actually messaged Strange Fruit, which they're all connected, it's we, all she, We didn't really realize at the time that Strange no. Fruit was a separate... Was like a company. It was a, a, a In, line. Inner company. A line from a from a bigger company, which it is. So at the time they were go they were in China for the I can't say, convention convention, and he's like, when we get back, and I thought he was just blowing me off because it was like this was like a couple of weeks of corresponding. Like he was already they were leaving. He didn't mess with me for a while, and then he's like, we're in China, and we're coming back on the 18th. Don't worry, I'll hook you up. And I was like, okay. So uh, basically what I asked for was Strange Fruit Line with maybe one for a giveaway. And that's what I was expecting. So finally he's like, I'm shipping it out, blah, blah, blah. So he ships it, I get it. It's, he sent me all his line, all the lines. The, all, so I was like, and a t-shirt and battery wraps. And I was just a thought. I was just like so speechless. <laughs> I was like, what? And I thanked him like a million times, and and it, he's like, I'm excited to see your reviews and see what you can do. So, yeah, I have a whole box of that that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, I've actually did s some reviews I, that I'm working on. Um, and also, I have Swag Sauce. I have two of their e-liquids that I still, I was waiting for them to steep a little bit because... They didn't look steep. Well, the one didn't look steep at all. So, I have swag sauce and I have puff flaps to review. That's like my biggest things. And I did a review on a dirty grin. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm actually really excited about my review on there. So, I'm like, I give you an apology letter before the review. I'm so stupid. Well, <laughs> because I got I, I got a hate mail of uh, saying she I got one comment. I was annoying. He hated me. He basically wanted me dead. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and um, he wished I wasn't born. And my videos are too long. My reviews are too long. So I was like, you know, I have feelings and I'm very like sensitive. So I was like, oh my god, I have to start timing my reviews. And making them shorter, so I'm like trying to make my reviews shorter, and then I'm going to just have vlogs if I want to talk more. But a lot of my subscribers said, screw him, we love your reviews, blah blah blah. But my fan base, my subscribe base is not growing very fast, so I think I do need to shorten them up a little bit. So I'm going to still be me, but keep it to a minimum, maybe put a timer on, so I'm to a instead of 18 20 minute reviews i'm like for one e-liquid 14. <laughs> i like talking
talking to you guys. So that's basically what's wrong. Like I do a lot of talking in my reviews and um, some most of you love it. people that don't like it and I want my I want my channel to grow more so I'm going to have to compromise and make them a little shorter but also be myself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm and and my myself. suggestion to her was that, you know, um, if you want to talk about other stuff, you can always do a vlog. Yeah, it's just different. Like when I'm in the middle of a review, it's better to just talk. But when I'm like, I know I have to talk, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But I'm definitely going to shorten my um, reviews down. A l not by a lot. Like I'm not going to make like eight minute reviews. That's just not me. I can't do it. I tried. It's impossible for me. Um, so I'm going to make them oh, like 10 minutes instead of 18. <laughs> I think 10 minutes is a good compromise. For you, yes. For me, that is too long. I mean, I, I tried doing it for like 8 minutes. I can't do it. I can't express my, especially if I love the e-liquid, I, I can't express my excitement and be myself unless you want a robot and me be like, yes, it's good. All right. Thank you for the review. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay. Don't be dramatical. It doesn't have to be like that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm definitely make them shorter. But um, no, I mean, uh, people love your reviews for what they are. I don't think. You but I'm not. Them, my sure. subscribe base is growing very slowly, and everyone says. I think that once people see it, once people see it, they love you. But I think well, I think it can be daunting when you're starting a review for an e-liquid and you see that it's like. 15 minutes long. Yeah, well, I, I what I know I have to do is I do have to begin the review explaining what I'm going to be reviewing, what's going to happen, and then if anything on the end, if I want to talk about anything, then that's fine because they already got through the review. If they want to shut me off, they can shut me off, but I talk a lot that's before, a good idea. before reviewing the e-liquid. So, a lot of people can they get bored and or they just don't want to listen to me like because they don't love me like you guys so <laughs> and so I'm going to do the review and then if I want to talk about anything and how exciting I am excited I am about to see liquid or how much I hate the e-liquid I'm going to save it for the end and good they idea. can always shut me off by that's then. a really good idea because then you don't have to compromise the, the length of your videos but you can also give people the option that they watch the review. And I am can... still going to try to make it a little shorter so they don't look at see it at the time yeah. and then run away. <laughs> like, yeah, no. So, yeah, I'm going to try to make them shorter. And also, I'm going to put my review first and then chit chat later. That's a good idea. For like people it. that do like to listen to yeah. me. Because there are There's a lot of people out there yeah. that listen to you. Okay, um, so for me, uh, as far as things that are coming up to review. Oh God! Um, so Tony B is sending me. Um, she did. She got like obviously she got the. Um, the was it called Sugar Lips? It, no, that's the brand. Dirty Grin. The line is called Sugar Lips, yeah. and um, it's called Dirty Grin. So Tony which B. Everyone has bad things to say about yeah, it. Yeah, no, I don't understand reason. it. Cause we we really enjoyed them. Um, so Tony B, I reached out to Tony B, and um, he's sending me the some of this Sugar Lips line yeah, to she, review. And so um, he, he was he was really really nice about it. Yeah. He's a sweet guy. He actually kind of, I guess, with all the stuff that was going on, because he messaged him around the same time I did. Like, I told him to message him after I did. And um, we had a lot going on with that whole the mod thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, so he kind of forgot, and he was totally apologetic. And he He's a really sweet guy. He's yeah. a really sweet guy. He's cool. Yeah, and so he's sending out that. So I'll be, I'll be doing that um, soon. Um, I still have some more stuff from Coil Vapes. We have Sweet Pea coming up, which is the sweet potato flavor. Which is going to be super interesting. That's going to be a great, uh, great review. Um, and um, I have some hardware stuff. And of course, he's going to be reviewing all the Puff Lab stuff too. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So we have some hardware stuff as well. We have um, the uh, Aspire Sky. Oh. Uh, what was it called? The Sky. We both have giveaways coming up. Yeah, too. we both have giveaways coming up. Um, so we got, um, we got. The, I've reviewed most of the stuff from these guys here. What's the name of it? Blanking. Righteous Awakening Elixirs. Um, I've, re I've reviewed most of their line except for um, two I liquids. Yet. Um, yeah, she has them. So, Righteous, send her out the liquids. I haven't even tasted it yet. Uh, so, there's one called Right Cross and then there's a Cold Right Cross. Cold Right Cross obviously has got to have a, a cooling agent in it, so I'm not super pumped on that. Still going to review it, but we have what? Uh, we each have, we're each going to review it and we each have um, a, 
a bottle of each one of those flavors to give away. And and, and a t-shirt and a hat. No, and Serene is sending us an extra um, RDA or RTA. RTA, yeah, I know. For, so we're, we have a lot of stuff. That. I don't have that yet. So. No, we don't have that, but either of us don't have it yet. Yeah. But we have stuff that, there's going to be a lot of giveaways yeah, coming up. giveaways coming up. And the closet. Yeah, so we um, we we have this giant closet full of e-liquid. We've talked about it. We've talked about it before, yeah. Before. And um, so we, uh, we basically... Um, a lot of stuff that either we've reviewed and we we vaped like two or three mils out of it for the review and then put it in the closet and then we're just never gonna get to it again and maybe we we, we intended like we thought oh we're gonna vape this someday and we just never did or it's just stuff that we we know we're not gonna vape nothing's and been expired or anything. it's expired no but what what the thing is we want to get rid of it before it expires we want to make sure that it gets to people who need it we know we're we're, we're extremely blessed and that we get a lot of e-liquid we get to try a lot of e-liquid and, and we do have if but he has a buddy that he gives e-liquid to yeah. and we do we have we're gonna have a special pile for him oh, they're God. like stuff that Almost is stool. insulting to even give to you, like mail out to somebody like we don't want to give half bottles we don't want to mail out half bottles no like if it's a homeboy that lives close to me i can yeah, give him some half bottles different. you know that's that's a lot different but to get receive a half bottle is like kind of like it's a little really? funny yeah. i mean some people are like send it i don't care yeah. but like we want we have a lot of bottles that are basically like, full oh, yeah so I mean, we literally have a closet, now a drawer, and then a second <laughs> Second shelf, shelf. is getting, getting flooded, yeah. So, like, you, you, there's going to be a bunch of giveaways. So, it. I just started cleaning that out tonight. Yeah. So, we we're, were gonna, supposed to do it a while ago, which yeah. we did mention before did, yeah. on Pin Dose Babes. But I actually started doing it now. We got sidetracked it, so. So, yeah, so take, stay tuned for that. We're definitely going to be giving away. It's, I mean, and I'm not exaggerating. There's a lot I of you living there. Yeah, me too. And I'm going to talk about it. Uh, I, there's a lot of e-liquid to, to give away, and so stay tuned for that. It's it's going to be amazing, and we're going to do some here on Panda Dose Vapes, but then also Panda's going to give away some on her channel, and I will most likely give away some on my channel as well. Um, another thing that I have coming up for review, and so does Panda. Well, that's mine. Well, we have it <laughs> sent out from uh, the good people over at Viprosity for us to review, and this is the Aspire Sky Star Revo Kit, and so we're going to be reviewing it. Really nice other colors. It comes in a wood type. Um, they're all shiny, but it comes in like a wood. It comes in, um, this cool looking like black with like blue designs. Not like this. This is like a, like it's a like blue camo. camo, but this one was like a little like design, blue designs. So that's the one I want. I want it, but they sent this one. And then it, this and is the they have a have. whole bunch of other colors. And, um, but this is the most high classy thing I've ever seen, and I can't wait to review. Yeah, me too. It's it's an amazing the tank, the tank the that tank, they send in with it has a really yeah, we don't want to give really, that really, too much. No, it's a really innovative coil design. I'll just say that, um, and the mod itself is probably the, the classiest. I think regulated mod I've had in a long time. If anyone was going to get a starter kit, I tell you right now without like giving any like, um, like anything away. Um, that is, this would be a very nice start. We've already kit. recommended it. I recommended it to, um, to our good friend, um, Scott, and he got one and he loves it. So, um, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, keep, you know, keep your eye out for this. I also have a, an RDA coming up pretty soon to review. It's, it's got a ceramic disc heating element. It's not a it's tank. It's very strange. It's really strange. It's not a tank. It's an RDA. It's a dripper. But it has a, instead of putting coils in it, it has a little ceramic disc that heats up. So stay tuned for that. Um, that I, I didn't mean, even. I don't think I've never even tried it. Did no, I? you didn't try it. It's, I just. I filmed the review of it. Um, so it was that'll be coming weird out for me. Yeah, it's pretty like... weird. And I also have this tank uh, from uh, EH Pro. This is the Billow X. This is an amazing, amazing tank. It's an RTA. Is that the one with the? Oh yeah, the one with the Japanese kind of carvings mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. It's got a very pretty like. Japanese like water and mountains, right? No, no. Yeah. No, it's just like a waves. Little... Yeah, yeah, waves. waves. Yeah, waves. Yeah, waves. It's it reminds me of like something that would come from Japan or something. Yeah, and it's twenty four millimeter and it's 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 beautiful. It's huge. The airflow on it is huge. It's a cloud blowing tank. It's like a really close to RDA experience, but it's with a tank. 
Uh, so I really like this. I've been using the hell out of this thing. Look forward to that review coming up soon as well. And we have, I have a mod um, that was sent out. It's not, it's not from the same company or anything, but uh, this was sent by Heaven Gifts. And uh, they also sent a mod, and the mod is uh, very is really nice. Is it? Oh, that wait, is that the one with the gross? Yeah, the one with the gross. It it the the it looks kind of ugly. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but it actually functions really really well. So stay tuned for that. I'm not gonna give that away. You guys will have to wait and see that. Um, but uh, yeah, so we have some with some mods, have some have, RTAs stuff coming up. I have and a some few like um. I don't think I've ever did my Batman one either. No, we have, we both we have, have so many reviews. We have a lot of reviews to do, so there's just stay yeah. tuned for us. Uh, there's gonna be plenty of content coming from us in the near future. It's oh, so much so easy to do just like e-liquid reviews, but then the hardware ones take so long. Like they're just a long review. So that one RDA, it's called the it's called Rigid RDA, and it's from a company called Da One. Da One with D A. Da One. Yeah, uh, this is you know what? It's if nothing else, it's a very very interesting take on an RDA, so yeah. stay tuned for that. Okay, um, moving on, uh, real quick, uh, while you guys, before it closes, the, this is the flavor survey. So, um, the, just for advocacy's sake, right, the, there's, there's flavor bans happening all over, meaning that they're trying to ban the use of flavorings in e-liquids. That's terrible. Besides, <laughs> besides like, uh, tobacco and menthol. Whoa. And so, what we want to do is we want to text, uh, you want to text CASA, that's C -A -S I'm actually going to do this right after this yeah. video. C A S A A is the uh, is the is is like the organization that's that's doing this. And so what you want to do is text on your phone. You text C A S A A flavors F L A V O R S. That's your message. Casa flavors, and you're going to text that to five two eight eight six. Okay, five two eight eight six. I think that's the eight, six. thing that um. Yeah, 20, 20, 20, all those guys yeah. at the bottom of the channels, yeah. Yeah, C A S H H. Yep. This is a big, this is a big. Uh, and it's five. Address. Put it on the um, the screen. On, on the screen, so that way you guys know it. Um, but yeah. Definitely text it. Takes it only takes a minute. Because imagine vape. Vaping, I would have to stop vaping. I'm not going to vape tobacco e-liquid. I'm not going to vape menthol e-liquid. No. I would have to stop vaping, and I don't even know what that would lead because I don't. I don't feel comfortable not vaping. Yeah. Like. Well, we would keep making liquids at home. Oh yeah, but if they so, stop. But imagine selling the, uh, flavors. No, you you can still buy flavors. The flavors that we use for for vaping are is what people use to make uh, food for diabetics. Okay. We're always gonna have a. You're always gonna be able to DIY, but if you don't DIY, that should scare you. And I tell you what, I, I, you and ask somebody who DIYs most of the liquid he vapes. That scares me. That it means scares me that we're gonna that have to learn people... recipes and well, it just scares me that stuck... people people aren't gonna have access. Like, why would they want to do that? Like, things are so like, oh my god, like, like mind blowing. Like, what's the purpose? They're saying that it, oh, these flavors are are uh, attractive to children. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. Anyways, so just go ahead, do your part. Text Casa. It's text. Casa flavors to five two eight eight six. Okay, just do it. They're gonna, they're gonna, you're gonna get a little survey to fill out. Just fill out the survey. Do your part. Be, do the right thing. Okay. Um. So, it's, one more Where's thing. Okay. And uh, so one more thing is I want to shout out. Uh, uh, one more time. I, I've talked about it before, but I, I really just really appreciated it. And that's my uh, good friend Wire underscore Freak eighty three yes. on Instagram. He sent us some really great coils. And we've been using the heck out of them. And um, his website's not up yet for to purchase. But when it does... As soon as it does, I will let you guys know. Order, because he has some really, really good coils. And he will also work with you with your ohms and all that. Yep. Right? Yeah. He's really awesome. And his coils are fantastic. I mean, Eddie Coils still. I love Yeti's Club Wire. But, I mean, I mean... Anyone that makes coil, beautiful coils, I love. I love. I, I'm jealous. Cause <laughs> always, we're always going to support Yeti Wire, www.yetiwire.com. Yeah, Go check them out. The only place you can find goon food is going to always be Yeti Wire. But if you want, you know what? If you also want to support another great person, um, as soon as Wire Freaks uh, Everyone website Everyone has their out, own different style of yeah. um, how they make And the cool thing about Wire Freak is that he does like a, like a, multiple core aliens like yet he does aliens which are great but like wire freak does um like six core aliens yeah and he that lets you know everything all the information on your thing actually we have some we have right some here. here 
he lets you know like if it's six it's six by twenty nine gauge by thirty six gauge like he lets you know every single wire that's in yeah. there and it gives you all the information that you need and what millimeters that he used and that's awesome to have because some people just don't do put that kind of information yeah. on the containers they just say you know point their own and what kind of wire it is what build it is well it's just pretty rare also for for a commercial coil maker to make these that kind that many core aliens like six core aliens these ones are, are not easy to make and so it's, it's just so neat to have access to those and he does uh the kind of ohms he's not afraid to go super slow ohm like he's not afraid to go how i vape he does things like point oh yeah he, coils did you and, request it low ohms right well he would that and that the thing was i didn't really even have to request it because his some of his products that he ships are already at point oh eight that's, and that's awesome. what he ships it. Dual coils I've been, point away. I've been enjoying them. They're amazing. I've actually been really like um, stingy about using them. <laughs> I've been like trying to just savor them, so I've I just keep them in like one mod. And oh, another thing, um, if you don't watch our watch the night show on Sundays. Travis has learned how to do aliens. I finally got the aliens ah. down. Yeah, it's amazing. It is so great because now we get we have aliens all the time if yep. we want them. Yep. He learned he he you know Getty said once you get it you're always gonna have it and it's true, true. like Since once got he it, got, it, got it he just kept doing it. It was amazing. We actually just got I ordered him more wire because. I love having aliens in the house. They just have so many aliens are just have the best flavor I've ever vaped on. Yep. And aliens are the best flavor. If it for helps me. him building more of aliens, I, I'm down for it. So <laughs> yeah. It took me a while but I got there, so thank you. A lot you. of frustration, a lot of sweating, a lot of heartache. <laughs> and a lot of wasted wasted wire. wire. Yep. But he's got it and now he he's he's been doing it. Yep. So I'm excited to see what kind of different cores and stuff that he starts creating. I can't wait until like we have that one beautiful, beautiful, beautiful one and we polish it and look it pretty and just keep it and put put it in a frame. <laughs> That'd be a big ass coil. There was a lot of stress that came to learning how him yeah. learning how to do wire. I mean aliens and I felt so bad because he gets so frustrated and I literally had to tell him like step away because you're not going to get it. You're just making yourself frustrated. Just step just away from it. Just wasting 40 feet of wire. So he learned how stepping away. Yep, I did. Thank and God. He watched the video and then all of a sudden he. It just clicked. Out. It just clicked for me one time and then now I, I got it. So. Um, see, like it was really it's... frustrating because I um I, I I can make coils. I was like, I'm obviously not a professional coil maker, but I can make fuse clappings, all he that kind of stuff. Some... No problem. I think he makes interesting coils, and sometimes they're by mistake, but they're beautiful. And he takes pictures of them, and, I, and he'll give them to me, and I love them. Like every coil, every coils he ever gave to me, besides like regular parallel ones, even those, they've always been flavorful. Like he's always had. It, he'll do like crazy coils that you never see before, and I I bake them, and I have a little thing that he gives, he puts all the coils that he makes me. It's like little presents, and I they're all flavorful, and they they are all none of them were like are bad vapes. So he does a good job with building. He doesn't he doesn't give himself enough credit. Well, I just wanted to be able to get to the aliens. He's the same way with food. Gonna, he cooks well, and he like he has a Nick pick every little thing about his dinner. It's terrible. He's like, Nick, this wasn't right. That wasn't right. I'm like, it's delicious. <laughs> what a goof. I, but I think we all do that to to ourselves. We criticize our when we do something for Definitely. somebody. Definitely. We Nick pick it, it to death because we're our worst critic. <laughs> I am definitely my worst critic. But yeah, his coils are way more amazing okay. than he gives himself credit Thank for. You. It, definitely. I appreciate that. If you want to see some of the stuff that I've done, um, go to my Instagram, Overdose Waves, and there's a, a lot of coil pictures on things. there. So. And some of them are just by like yeah, him messing yeah, up, definitely. and they look so cool. Like, they're they're awesome. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Some some of the best coils I've ever made came out by accident. So. All right, so we got one last thing to do, and that's the blind taste test. You guys, you guys know it. You guys love, you it. love it. Let's do it. So I guess I'll start. No, you start. You start. I always start. You start. Yours is right here. Okay. 
I wanted to re reset my taste buds. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's juicy. It's juicy. I hope yours is still juicy. You might have to turn around. It's juicy. I didn't overdo it though. Yeah, might, have to, might have to tighten that up. Oh my god, it smells so bad. <laughs> like what? It smells like poo. It does not smell like poo. It smells like menthol or something. It smells menthol. Licorice? Nope. Oh, it doesn't smell good though. Is it? I knew it was running. Always. Oh, what is that? <laughs> you tell me, it's what they're supposed to be doing right now. Oh, don't pretend you're gonna gag. It's not that bad. It tastes like food. Like what kind of food? It is a food? No, well, like, well, all these things are foods. No, like, I honestly don't know. It's so disgusting. Ugh. You can't think of one thing that's in there. I can smell something just in the vape and know right away that what it is. It smells like jelly beans. What kind of jelly beans? What flavor? I don't know. You're always so dramatic. I know. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. Like, orange? No, we're getting close. It is a fruit. There's fruits in there. I'll give you that much. It's a, it's a medley of fruits. Pineapple? Definitely. That, that's what's so nasty. I think so. There's definitely, yeah, pineapple in there. I don't know, babe. I taste pineapple. Okay, you got that. pineapple is so disgusting. You got that me. much. I'll give it to you. Okay, so it is a pineapple mango smoothie. I do not taste the mango. I can smell the mango for sure. Let me try this. Maybe I do, but I don't know. It's, that's not good to eat like with. I think it is. I tried it. I liked it a lot. It's very, it has a lot of the smoothie in it. A lot of I milk. Think, it made my tongue dry. It's the mango, for sure. Just like in real life, mangoes will dry you out. I love mangoes, but that does not taste like no damn mango. Mango's one of my favorite That is fruits. so good. It, it is literally not. tastes like a smoothie. Yeah, it is so epic. I think I have big issues with things with milk in it. Or that like is so fucking good. It is really good. It's not overpowering it. with the mango. The pineapple is like barely there. It is such I a taste it's the, smoothie. I tasted the pineapple before the mango. Everyone's taste buds is different. That's what I keep telling people. That is good. I would vape that. I'm going to vape that. I'm glad I tried it. I don't like it. If you have to get mango for sure. It's got like, it tastes like mango juice. I tasted the pineapple. I didn't like I barely it. get the pineapple at all. It's like, mostly smoothie. It's mostly like milk. I have a big thing with milk e-liquids. Yeah, you do. Like. It doesn't go with you. No, they just become, they come out really sour and gross. Like, ugh. Oh, he got one flavor out of the, out of the bunch though. And so that's saying something. Cause this is hard. You guys don't, you guys might not, you guys might be laughing at home and making fun of us or whatever. This is so effing hard. Yes, you have no idea. If you don't know, if you don't know, the, you don't see the bottle, you don't see nothing. You don't. No, your brain doesn't know what to, the taste. Yep. So you're just like, and there, if, obviously there's a bunch of components. So, like, I don't. I taste the pineapple straight up, and I don't like pineapple vapes at all. They just do not come, especially milky vapes. And. I bet, you, milky I bet you're gonna like this. Is there like milk in this one? A like cream? I forget. Wait, I looked it up. Oh my goodness. Mm, no. No cream? Wait. Um. It, yeah, there's a ice cream. Yeah, definitely. It's, re it's really heavy with there's cream. A, this has got a lot of components, I didn't realize. It's, got, it's really heavy with cream. Like, that's a, the majority of what I get. Maybe some kind of. Uh, it's, it tastes like kind of like crumbly, something like crumbly, like, like I some thought kind of, you like, would actually like this one. I do like it a lot, actually. I, I can't keep vaping it because it's, it's going to run out. I don't want to get it dry yet. You, you, so, there's no, um, well, yeah, it says dessert, so. Yeah, there's like some kind of like crumbly, like cake kind of thing. Like what it tastes like to me is like do ice you cream. Do any, like, um, any fruits to at me, all? It, to me, it kind of like, at first it smelled a little bit like strawberry. But then, it, but it really tastes more like just like a like an ice cream with like some kind of like crumbly. It tastes kind of like fried ice cream a little bit, but um, like you know like with like a crumbly kind of crust yeah. with ice cream. 
Maybe I some strawberry or fruits or something. Me too. I, I want it so bad. This tastes kind of like that. You want to know what it is? Yeah, what is it? It's the licks from um, Coast okay. that I got. What is it? And it's berry, dairy, dessert, fruit, ice cream, strawberry, sweet. So yeah, so, so it's, I, like so it's, called, it's sweet and fluffy strawberry gal galito, galato, gelato. gelato. So I was fucking yeah! hundred percent. Right. It was strawberry. It was cream. And it's got some berry in it. Yeah, but by berry they probably mean strawberry. Oh yeah, yeah, because they. I guess it's just keywords. Boom. Tag, hash, like tags. I got two of those, and, they're, and I'm getting a little bit of kind of like crusty dessert stuff, but that could totally no, be me. No, it has the. It says dessert. Yeah, but that could be the ice that's cream. That's just they're just describing that. Yeah. yeah. So. It's the it's sweet, it's sweet fluffy gelato, strawberry gelato. I totally get it. I mean, I totally get it. I get what they're going for. You definitely can smell the strawberries. I, I, pick, I usually pick stuff that he would hate, but I I didn't know what it was because it was it was one of the ones that were ready to vape it out of the box. And um, it's good. Once I looked at the flavor profile, that's why I said when you picked mine, I said that's so funny. You'll find out later mm -hmm. <laughs> because it was a strawberry one, and I picked a strawberry one for you too. And, I, I had originally picked one for her, but we ended up reviewing it before we did the show. So yeah, and thank you. Know, I, I, I would have got it because it was so simple, it's and so I hated it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I was like, he's totally gonna freaking love this. Even I do like it a lot. Yeah, and it's something that I wouldn't like. So all I have to do is review it, and you can have Excellent. it. I love it. I, I, you know, and it does come across uh, really like a kind of like a desserty. Ice cream with berries, yeah, with like strawberry. Yeah, you had it like on mark set when you said like the crusty. But see, I still get that. So there's some kind of texture there. I don't know what I'm getting, but it might be, might be something it's in there. It's just the ice cream, probably. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's sweet and fluffy strawberry gelato. There's definitely some texture there. So. All right, well, um, I won. That's so another one of their e-liquids you like. Panda said basically that we're this is a competition. I always thought it wasn't, but apparently it is. We and I always won. say we win. <laughs> I I won the last two. Yeah, I got them right one. Remember? She did really good the last two. Yeah. And she got she got one component I out of this one. Actually, want to taste this again. You want to put some? Oh, some, I have to get the bottle. Put some, put some on there. And yeah, so I, I, I'm a big fan of that one. It tastes really good. It's a yeah. really well done strawberry and ice cream. Actually, one that I will, I just have to review, just mm -hmm. save, save me some for review. And yeah. this is yours, because you know how I am about strawberries. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not that. a big fan of Well, you're, this one is definitely not tart. But I, it's just, I know, you, on that. I know you will love it, so I was like... I'm just gonna give it to him because I'm not. It's, really it's not something I would vape like all the time because it's just I'm just not big on strawberry vapes. That's really good. I like it a lot. <sighs> you and those damn fingernails. She's got these stiletto nails that are like deadly weapons. Yeah, it's like it is good actually, yeah, it is good. but it's not something I would run to to vape, and it is ready to vape. It's nice and dark. Yeah. It's one of the darker one, like darkest ones in the box. Yeah. Like these, the ones that we have out were the vape favorable ones. So I was like, I know I wouldn't like it. So that well, is your present. We'll put it back over with the rest of them until no. you're done reviewing it. No, just when I re need a review, it just save me a little okay. bit of review. All right. It's for you. Thank you. Present for win for winning. That's my present for winning. <laughs> we, well, usually when I win and I like something, he's like, here, vape it. So, True. your present. What's up with the bottle? I don't know. I don't know. Caps, I, no lie. I've been getting caps lately that just spin, spin, spin. Like this, I got this one. And this isn't the cap that came, let's see, it just spins. And the bottle is literally like, it, the bottle was made wrong. Look, see how it's crooked? Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it, it's so funny because that bottle just spins. Well, it's childproof. You're supposed to push down. Oh yeah, but one's this not. one's just broke. That one's just broke. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the tips over here. It's like so. That's what she said. What? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. I gotta get off this chair before I yeah. die. Next time you see me, I will have nice, beautiful hair. The world's not fair. So I can just go like that to him in his face. <laughs> Watch those nails. You poke my damn eyes out. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching us. Uh, we had a lot of fun, and we hope you did too. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Peace Don't out. Don't forget to do the survey. Peace out.